Hi, Brian Bush, Top Crop Alliance. Coming to you from a cornfield today here because we're starting to see some issues showing up here. You know, I had guys that last week were just raving how uniform the corn was, tabletop level, looks great, you know, it's four or five inches tall. And now this week, we had a little bit of rain, a little more heat, and I'm seeing all kinds of patterns and variability showing up and now saying, what's going on here? Relax. We're just going through that transition to the nodal root stage, AKA the ugly duckling stage in corn. Happens every year. Um, let's go through a little details though. It's kind of expected, but every year we're kind of reminded this is gonna be okay. So, this is a V4 corn plant. Count the colors with you here. So, one, V2, V3, V4. At this V4 stage, the plant transitions off of the seed reserves we have right here, to our nodal roots. So let's go over that a little bit more here. Let me break this off here. This is the seedling root system. The first to come out, the radical root here coming out, our seminal roots coming off here. This root system helps gather in water, some nutrients, to get our seedling to germinate, come out of the ground, and basically give the energy to this plant from emergence, from, from germination really, germination through about V3. All the energy is here. Because the energy is right here in this kernel we're using, the corn looks very uniform. It all has the same seed in the ground, same seed size. So plant to plant looks very good unless we have some major issues. But at that V3, really by V4, we transition to the nodal root system. This root stays on, but it really does nothing for the rest of the year. The nodal roots right here is what carries this plant from V4 all the way through harvest. This root system scavenges the, the nutrients, the water we need from the soil to help us survive, to help us grow and thrive because we're transitioning away from the seed reserves here. And all the energy I need basically mainlined in that plant to now I've got to scavenge it in the, from the soil, we start finding problems. Any differences in that soil, be it maybe a little bit of compaction along the root zone, underneath the, the roots, starter fertilizer differences, plugged up issues, um, tillage. You find kind of patterns sometimes with tillage. If we were out there a little bit on the heavy side, you can start seeing patterns going across the rows where I can see light plants, dark plants, light plants. Also water ponding, anything that's restricting these roots from accessing the full soil profile, you see those differences. What can we do? Right now, we need to take notes. Note where we're seeing differences. Take the shovel to the field, try and dig up some of those plants that, that look kind of odd. Look for differences. Do we have issues? So I've got a different plant here. It's a different plant right here. So this guy, also V4. One, two, three, four. I mean, you compare the size. I mean, it's half the size of this one. As I dug that one up, this is what we found. This about inch and a half, two inch layer was tucked right here beside it. Had a little bit of surface compaction, which restrict, was restricting the nodal roots on this plant from taking off. So the plant's trying to transition from the seedling reserves to the nodal roots. And because it couldn't break through those side roots, that's those side walls there, it was struggling. It was behind, smaller, paler color, kind of be expected. If we don't go out there with a shovel, dig, check, we're never really, never really going to know what's going to cause those kind of things. So take notes now because in another 10 to 14 days time, it's going to get warm. Corn's going to start growing. It's going to take off again. And you're going to say, oh, it all kind of evened up. Well, it didn't really even up, if we're honest. The issues get masked as new leaves come out. The plant gets taller. It's going to look greener. And all of a sudden you're going to say, it's going to be okay. These problem areas, we may not be able to address them this season. But if nothing else, we need to understand what is the cause there. Is it something we can affect and control for next year? Is it something we just need to live with? If, if, if we have to live with it, that's okay, but it's better to know that now and be prepared for it versus not. One more thing, too, that's kind of unique to 2022. Every year brings its own challenges. We're seeing several areas of herbicide burn. So I came out here on my small plants, sprayed our residual herbicides. Especially things in the past 10 days, two weeks when we got some heat, 
bright sunny days, low humidity. Those oil-based herbicides got on the leaves. These new leaves are very sensitive. They haven't built up that thick waxy cuticle yet to kind of help them be more resilient. The herbicide got on there, bright sunny days, dry weather, hot, and kind of burned those leaves a little bit especially in the corners of the field, waterways. Areas where you're slowing down, starting up, maybe a little bit of overlap as well. And man, it looks ugly. It looks bad, especially that, that couple days afterwards as it starts growing out, you go, oh my gosh, what happened to that field? Take a deep breath. In all likelihood, it's not yield limiting. As the new leaves grow out, they're gonna be green and healthy. And we're never gonna, we're gonna go forward here and never even notice them going as we look back in time. Right now, it looks ugly. But give it some time, it's gonna grow out of it and probably be okay. But it's one of the things that's out there that's kind of adding a little more variability and uniformness to our fields there. So keep that in mind too. So big picture, what do I do now? I've got small plants like this and big plants like this in the field. What can I do? Well, big picture, after we take our notes, let's note, is it a wet spot we need to tile? Is it some surface compaction? Do I, did I have starter fertilizer that was plugged? After you do that, continue on with your plant. In many cases, running an anhydrous knife through there, open up some of the soil, might let some more oxygen and air in around those roots. But more importantly, put on the fertilizer. Getting your nitrogen, your sulfur, your in-season fertilizers put on, it's gonna help these plants catch up, green up, and look nice and uniform going forward. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thank you.